Well, hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, as you can see, I have the fire alarm world again, and it has I have both of it. And before I made, no, actually, it's after, yeah, after I made the first fire alarm demo video. I uh, improved this system, the demo system, a little more, which did not just include one pole station. So here's the original pole station, and then we have more pole stations that works 100%. So yeah, this is some, I think it's, you can say minor improvements, and the main system is still original. Not much has changed except for adding functional pull stations and even the farthest one works. Let's test it. Oh yeah, chunk loading, yes, unfortunately, yeah, chunk loading, that's a problem. Chunk loading is a... Very big problem on this world. You had to be quite close to the circuit. So I'll also be showing a how to you guys how to make a wireless um, system, not like just for fire alarm, but wireless signal. I guess you could say signal uh, transmitter and receiver. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh boy, I think I broke the system again. Did I? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. It's been a very long time since I have fixed this world. I never actually done any troubleshooting. So yeah, I think you're not supposed to put repeaters on different ticks. I think uniform is the best way. Oh, I need a move. There we go. Let's try this again. A close one. At least it worked. Let's try this again. There we go. It's a lot slower now, and you can see power gets cut off, and it's pretty loud too. Let me turn it off. And now this system, this is the, this system is a lot m more complicated, you might think, but it's actually not as complicated as you think because the demo system is made to look simpler. And this is basically what I've implemented over there. So what you can see here is that we have sprinklers. This is the sprinkler demo. And it's a dispenser with a water bucket, basically. And as you can see, there's dispensers up here, too, that's shooting water downward. And then we have the alarm bells, which we have, you can see right here. We have the notification system, which is the light, the bells, whatever. And then we also have a power cutoff system, which is a little different. Like, yeah... Yeah, it's a little different, yeah. And then, I think the biggest difference is that we added the automatic trigger system. Or automatic detection system. And we also added a control room. So let's, let me tell you how the system works. So, inside the hall, I guess you could say. There are, you can see in, in my first video, there are like the these wooden blocks. Uh, yeah, not these, not these. Uh, yeah, my last experiment with this. And yeah, you see these, these have an observer under them, which means when these burn up, basically, the observer is going to trigger 
down there. The observer, but then observers only, you know, trigger once. They do not, they only flash, like, they flash once. So, how are we doing this? Oh, here's the magic. Uh, not, 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 not here. Here. You see, observers, right, they output a small, like, a very short signal. And that's why we use a piston, a regular piston, with a redstone block on it. And that will trigger the system permanently, and then that will, you know, basically notify, um, and then start up the system. And the most basic way to test this is actually not what I showed you in the last video. The most basic way, you don't even need any tools. All you need to do is to break this. And see. It's a little louder now. I need to switch something. Slash game rule. are permanent now? Oh! Oh yeah, that's how Minecraft mechanics work. God damn it, I forgot. Well, the system is extremely complicated and if you make one mistake, something could go wrong. So, as you can see, the lights are also turned off, which means I need to go reset the light too. Unfortunately, I have not come up with a idea of how to automatically with a push of a button to reset the system but I'm gonna get more ideas because I'm now playing around with command blocks and you see that is the system that turns the lights off and if you break that there you go the lights are back on and yeah so this is a very basic uh, explanation of my fire alarm system basically and yeah there's also these title command blocks which tells you which it's like the letters show up on the screen yeah and yeah that's basically it so like subscribe comment and share this video and yeah have a nice day